I feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown To be seen When everybody wants to be king Yeah, they all wanna ring Yeah, we all wanna be free So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring How you take a f***ing swing Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go... Shoot to family! What's good with you? It's your boy 2A in LA And as always, fam Anything I say in this episode Prior episodes and future episodes It's just my personal opinion Don't take it as fact don't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. Right about now, fam, I should go ahead and tap that like button for your boy. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Come on in. You can join the congregation by smashing that subscribe button and requesting all post notifications. And if you are an existing supporter of this channel, fam, fam. I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You are the reason this channel is anything. All right, let's get this episode rolling. Look, fam, we got a legendary one here, fam. Uh, the Mark 18 is the uh, brace pistol or SVR, depending on where you're at and how you got yours set up, uh, that has, you know, been on the mouths of people forever now and when I started gun collecting and I really started to learn more about guns a Mark 18 was kind of on my grail gun list not because it was the most expensive gun or anything like that but because I loved the look of it I loved uh, how iconic it had become and I felt like I had to have it in my collection they're just very hard to come by in the state of California. So when this one came my way, fam, I was like, gotta get it, <laughs> got to get it. And so that's what we did. We picked this bad boy up. And then of course, you know, come on fam, you know how your boy outfits a firearm. We don't just leave it as is, or we don't do that. <laughs> we always try to elevate every firearm that we have. So look fam, let me just let you peep it out. Look, fam, we got that Holosun IR laser up there. We got that Vortex Huey up there on a Unity riser mount. Got that three times magnifier also on a Unity fast mount that's in line. So it isn't off to the side. It just goes straight up and down. We got that Timmy two stage trigger. We'll get into that shortly. And we changed out the traditional SB Tactical pistol brace and opted for that Odin Works uh, brace. Fam. <laughs> Woo, fam. This bad boy is ready for action, ready to get it in. And so, yeah, fam, your boys... Uh, 2A in LA's Mark 18 looking awfully sexy. But like I say, almost in every review, fam, 
these reviews are not about how the gun looks. It's about how the gun shoots. So let's get into this review. Okay, real quick, fam. If you haven't seen a 2A in LA review, just know that there are 10 categories. Each category is worth either 5, 10, or 15 points, depending on the importance of the category to the overall gun. And the maximum points you can get is 100 points. A 50 is considered a down-the-middle gun. Uh, no frills or thrills, really, but it's going to go bang every time. It's reliable. It's perfectly acceptable. So if you got something from 50 to 60, that's pretty much where you're looking. If you got something from 60 to 70, that gun is one deviation above the norm. Typically has maybe a feature or two that your mid-level gun doesn't have. If you've got something from 70 to 80, that, that gun is a couple deviations above the norm. Probably has either something specific about it uh, that really elevate the overall value of the gun or there's a few different features that really make it stand out. If you got something from 80 to 90, okay, now you're looking at kind of a best in class gun or something that's very close to a best in, best in class gun, particularly if it's at the higher end, like 85 to 90. And if you got something that's 90 or above, you're grill gun status, all right? So let's get into this uh, review and let's see how the Daniel Defense Mark 18 holds up. All right, fam, first up, fit and finish. Look, fam, I own a few uh, Daniel Defense firearms. I have the DDD, I have the DD M4, M4, A1, AR-15, now the Mark 18. I also have uh, the Daniel Defense uh, DD M4 PDW. And I can tell you that one of the things that I really like about Daniel Defense firearms is how consistent they are. Uh, how consistent they are in terms of build quality and fit and finish. If you get a Daniel Defense gun, you can know the gun. You can feel relatively assured that the gun is going to be well uh, put together and that the fit and finish is going to be solid. And that is certainly the case with the Mark 18. And so, yeah, right out of the box, fam, we're going to give this gun a 13 out of a possible 15 for fit and finish. All right, fam, next up. Reliability, fam. I put some rounds down range <laughs> with this bad boy, and I had zero hiccups. Zero after a few different range visits and probably close uh, to a thousand rounds, fam. This gun just runs. It just runs. It is incredibly reliable in that regard. It reminds me very much of my M4A1, which I've had now for quite some time. Just Man, kind of a workhorse AR-15. Um, but I think, too, that Daniel Defense, to their credit, manages to get some style points <laughs> worked in there, too. A lot of people don't like their grip. I love it. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it and my hands. And we'll talk about that a little bit more when we start getting into ergonomics. But, yeah, fam, reliability we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy a 14 out of a possible 15. All right, fam. Next up, durability. Look, fam, I'm trying to remember James Reeves of TFB did a video on the Daniel Defense AR-15 where he basically beat the snot out of the gun, threw it up in the air, threw it around, banged it up against stuff, and that sucker just kept running, <laughs> kept running, and kept running. I wasn't going to do that to my grill gun. <laughs> way you see it here but I can tell you that with my M4A1 and so far from everything I've seen here and by reputation Daniel defense guns are very very durable so we're going to go ahead and give this bad boy a 14 out of a possible 15 for durability all right fam next up trigger look look so we're going to have to to bifurcate this score a little bit. I'm going to give you two scores for trigger. One, what the trigger would have been out of the box. And as a matter of fact, now's probably a good time. I'll put up the specs up there, including the factory trigger pull on the gun. So you can check out what the specs of the gun are. And also, 
I will let you know that the Daniel Defense makes a solid trigger. It's a good trigger. It's not phenomenal. It's not great. It's not earth shattering. But for a, an out of the box trigger, it's a solid trigger. I would give this factory trigger a 12 out of a possible 15 points. But in this bad boy fam, we do not have a factory trigger. We have that brand new Timony two stage trigger. And I gotta come back and I gotta do an entire video on this trigger, fam. <sighs> fam, I've shot, you know, y'all know I'm a trigger snob. I've shot arguably some of the best triggers out there and I put some of the best triggers out there in my guns, whether it's the Geisley trigger, uh, whether it's the Hyperfire trigger, whether it's Blackout Defenses, Zero Trigger, those triggers are all phenomenal, fam. This might be the best trigger I've ever felt. I'm not, I'm not going to front. If you are considering a, uh, a trigger replacement in an AR-15 style uh, setup, you have got to consider uh, this trigger. I'll put up what the, the pull weight of it is up there. But just let me... Bam. You're at the wall. There's no take up. You're at the wall. Very reminiscent of Blackout Defense Zero Trigger. There is no take up. You're at the wall. Now check this out. Bam. That trigger pull is so crazy. And the reset. Bam. I, this gun shoots so fast. Now, with this trigger in it, it is ridiculous, fam. And I'm just really starting to um, really get 100% comfortable uh, with the firearm. And I'm getting crazy, crazy splits now. The video you saw early on was my first range day uh, with the gun. But, fam, I'm getting crazy proficient <laughs> with this trigger. It's amazing. So, look. For trigger, we're going to give this bad boy a 14 out of a possible 15. All right, fam. Next up, accuracy. Look, Daniel Defense does great jobs with their barrels. They make their own barrels in-house. Um, every My M4A1, I love it. It's incredibly accurate. I found this bad boy to be incredibly accurate as well. Uh, we've taken shots out as far with this, I want to say it's like 125 yards, I think, on the range, and it was still, uh, still nailing um, targets very, very accurately, like two and a half inch targets from 125 yards with no uh, problem. I haven't tried to take it out further uh, to see when the accuracy, accuracy starts to drop off, but you know, this is more of a CQB type pistol. Uh, I doubt you're going to be going out, you know, 100, more than 100 to 150 yards. And in that range, this bad boy is perfection. <laughs> Absolute perfection. So look, fam, for accuracy, we're going to go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10. All right, fam, next up, ergonomics. Look, fam, this brace coupled with the Daniel Defense grip, which I told you, it's kind of controversial. Some people love it, some people hate it, but because it's kind of got a rubberized kind of look and feel to it, I love it. I've changed out grips on other AR-15 platforms to Daniel Defense grips. That's how much I like it. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. This Odin works. <laughs> this Odin works. Uh, brace is off the charts. I love the size of it. It's like the perfect size. Yeah, fam. I ergonomics. <laughs> no pushback for me here. A total nine out of ten points for ergonomics. All right, fam. Next up, we're gonna couple. We're gonna put these uh, two categories together. Aftermarket support and um, maintenance and upkeep. Look, fam, it's an AR-15. <laughs> it's an AR-15 platform. There is more, AR-15 is the Glock of rifles, right? And carbines. And so, yes, fam, there is nothing you can't do as evidence by the setup 
that you see here, plenty of triggers at your disposal, plenty of stocks of braces, optic mounting options, plenty of rail space. No, there's plenty. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing you can't get for your AR-15 out there. So we're going to give a five out of five points for aftermarket support and relative to uh, maintenance and I keep saying thing man you know you man these thing AR-15s run especially Daniel Defense AR-15s and takedown is relatively easy um yeah fam I easy peasy lemon squeezy we're gonna get five out of five for aftermarket support and for maintenance and upkeep all right fam next up affordability look fam this is usually where things go off the rail for me but I am happy today fam I am happy today I want to make it seem like the mark 18 is an inexpensive gun I believe the MSRP is right around 2200 bucks I'll put it up there so you guys can check it out but in my book for the quality you're getting um, the iconic nature of the gun yeah I think that's a very reasonable price it's expensive no doubt about it. You can get you, you can do an arrow bill for half that much. Um, but I just think the gun is very, so well made, so durable, so reliable, worth it. And, and still within reach for a lot of gun owners. So we're going to give, uh, for affordability, three out of possible five points. All right, fam. Next up, Flex. Is Instagram going to go crazy? Are your boys going to be on your jock? Right? Uh, is, the, is, the, is the range officer at the range going to be calling people over to check out your gun? For sure. This is a sweet gun. It is a sweet build. Yeah, fam. I love the aesthetics of this gun. Love the way it looks. Love the way I have the setup done. Um... Solid, solid points for flex. We're going to give it three out of a possible five flex points. All right, fam. When you add all that up, you get a very, very, very solid 88 out of a possible 100. Fam, there are not many uh, rifles or carbines that get in the high 80s there needs to be something special about that now keep in mind fam this trigger got upgraded by a couple of points if we went strictly by how it came out of the box it would be an 86 but as you see it constructed here with that trigger and the setup and everything yeah fam we gotta go ahead and give this bad boy an 88 out of a possible hundred look fam i love this this gun this one is going to definitely be a uh, part of my forever uh collection like i said the mark 18 is just kind of iconic in youtube lore uh not to mention it's seeing action in, in, with special forces across the world so man 2a nla's mark 18 by daniel defense 88 out of a possible 100. All right, fam. Thanks for watching. And until next time, as always, take care of one another and peace.